What's up, everybody? You guys are at my house right now, and this is the start to the YouTube series, Road to Full Power. And I'm just gonna take you guys on a journey on everything that it's taken me uh, daily, weekly, monthly to get myself ready for this meet coming up October 8th at, uh, for the Juggernaut Classic. So stay tuned, enjoy the ride, and like I said, it's gonna be all inside on everything that I'm doing to get ready for that. So speaking of that, we're gonna get a haircut right now and then uh, see my chiropractor before we take off to Eight Man Strong out in Arizona. So let's go. What's up, what's up? All right, so this is the ultimate dude barbershop that I always come to weekly pretty much because my hair grows fucking crazy. My boy Paul cuts my hair all the time. So if you're ever in Bakersfield, All-American Barbershop, man, that's where you guys want to be at. Dude, if I say something about Casey, I might get choked up, man. He's an inspiration to a lot of people, so. Well, you don't want to hear what I got to say about Casey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I was about to see you're at work on time or something, Paul. It's okay. Yeah. Keep those off. Did you see that video where they came out with Bill? And he came out with his wife and the balloons were dropping. He's like all, whoa, like he's all fucking yeah, high yeah. or some I shit know. on the balloons. Well, feeling fresh now. Now we can get the day started. There's nothing like a good ass haircut now. So Vickers, this is where I eat at a few times a week. It's a family-owned um, business here in Bakersfield. It's kind of like Chipotle, but better. Um, it's cleaner. Um, I always get the steak and shrimp every time I come here. Yeah, what's so, this all about? I'll tell you right now. You good? I'm gonna get you in on it. All right, so we're chilling in the spot, and my boy Joey comes in and says, "What's up?" You know, it's a good friend of mine, man. Uh, we kind of started lifting around the same time. He's a dedicated, dedicated lifter, man. He's a great tattoo artist, and it's the same thing when it comes to that, his tattooing. He wakes up and he eats and breathes it, and he loves doing it, and that's uh, something you guys know how I am, is uh, I love, I wake up thinking about it, and I go to sleep thinking about it, and uh, if you're doing it, then that's real passion, real love of what you're doing, and if you don't have that, then you need to find something that uh, gives you that uh, that passion in your life because uh, that's what we live to do, man. We wake up, man. Yeah. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, same here, man. And it's same been here. good or what? You know about this place? It's fire, huh? Yeah, I love it. Well, they have one on the Rosedale side, but they just put this one here. It's like a meal prep right man. down the street from my right down the street from my shop. More good people, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Um, I'll be back soon. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it next week. Yeah, I'm down to uh, see me. I'll, I'll be in Arizona all week this week, and then I'll come back. So. Yeah, handle that shit. So one of the main things anytime you're dealing with anyone who's missing a limb is you're dealing with a huge imbalance in the body. Um, with Casey's limb missing, you know, heavier than other limbs, so he's got um, a lot of compensation injuries we're dealing with, especially in his erectors and all his extensors uh, because he does so much deadlifts. Um, so you'll see in a minute on his back we, we're fighting a lot of one-sided tightness. Um, and because he's missing part of his leg, you deal with a lot of disuse atrophy, okay? Uh, a lot of these muscles aren't getting contracted like they were before, so you deal with a lot with that. He's got a lot of other injuries we deal with, with burns and scarring, mass amounts of scar tissue littered throughout the body, and you'll see a little bit of the stuff we work on today. So let's face me on our side. Huh? Alright, so... Alright, so Side. Now you'll see me go a lot more aggressive with Casey than you see me with any other patient. So one thing I'm going to check right here is the rotation of his hips because this atrophies, this causes this hip to rotate forward and this one usually rotates back. So go ahead and keep that leg straight and raise off the table as high as you can. Okay, down, let's see the other one. And you immediately notice a difference. Okay, it tells me his hips are rotated, tells me the direction of rotation. So I put him on blocks to offset. And then we start looking at his back. All right, just relax. Oh, 
don't know if you can see this, there's a palpable feel of all the erectors on his left side that have had to compensate for his missing limb. This all includes balance and everything. So that's something that we're having to fight on a weekly battle. It's just breaking this down every week to keep him pain free. So, so I bought the boomstick. What I'm trying to do here is just aggressively lengthen his muscle tissue. That way it stops him pulling his hips even further out of position. seeing with the table and the dropping movement we call a drop table all it does is aid in my ability to translate a force to the joint so it just adds that much more to my adjustments to them what I'm doing right now is filling around for misalignment restriction of joints things like that Right now I'm just doing a little muscle work. You'll see me do a lot of just muscle work here and there, working out all the imbalances I find. This little doohickey, little gun called the Arthur Stim. It's essentially an impact gun. The harder you push, the harder it goes. Um, I use it to essentially generate a force, which I put into his joints. Anytime we're talking about joint fluid, the only way joint fluid gets replenished is through motion. He has a lot of restriction of motion, so this is a very healthy thing I do for a spine to keep everything nice and fluid. Again, I'm just translating a force into the joint, trying to keep any all motion, any all motion, just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Now, when we first started his leg, his quad on his good leg. Um, a lot of people look at Casey and think, oh, yeah, okay, he's got one leg, he's lifting all this weight. A lot of people don't understand. His good leg in my book is actually his bad leg. He's got pretty much no dorsiflexion, his knee's blown out, he's looking at getting a new knee soon, um, if not within the next 10 years. Uh, all of the muscles on his quad when he got blown up in the explosion essentially melted together. So his whole entire quad was functioning as one muscle. Um, so we've been working on splaying all those muscles apart. I don't know if you can see, but he's finally getting some definition before. Um, he was not getting individual contraction of any muscles when we first started. So this is a huge improvement compared comparatively. Um, and he's got some major issues going on with this IT band. Again, all from surgery from the knee. Um, I'll let you know if you want to look. Massive scarring going on. Um, so yeah, so about the Degraston, it's very 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 beneficial especially for me um, there are a lot of people that sit there and they say you know they're not fans of it but i could tell you right now i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing if it wasn't for getting graston done yeah now you'll see me doing graston very aggressive on him i don't do this uh that aggressive on my normal patients he's the exception because we're dealing with such massive amounts of scar tissue um doing it that aggressive is the only way we've been getting results we've tried it other ways this is the only thing that's really working so we're going to keep at it i don't know if you can hear any of that grinding that's all so this is part of the pain that i'm having to go through to get myself ready for this competition it's not a most, a lot of powerlifting athletes or just athletes alone, they don't go through this kind of serious um, rehab to like prepare themselves for a meet or a competition or whatever. So I'm trying to give you guys an insight on like, this is what I have to do weekly, uh, sometimes a couple times a week, just we're, we're doing it um, all over the body because my whole body is just beat up. And so, like I said, this is one of the torturous things that I'm trying to do, that I have to do 
to get myself even ready to even be prepared to even lift the way that I'm lifting every day. Almost done, almost done. All right. Oh, fuck. Now, oh. you'll notice from before, this quickly filled up with blood. Okay, when we talk about scar tissue and grafting. Okay, a lot of people see a lot of bruising in regards to grafting. The bruising is from capillary beds breaking very quickly. Like I said, scar tissue is very hard. So when I'm combining a metal tool compressing against the skin between muscle, you got scar tissue in between, in between it's quickly going to break the tissues in between. So that's why when you see grafts and you see a lot of uh, hematomas essentially showing up. And his showed up very quickly on here because this is a massive burn area we've been dealing with. So when we talk about any kind of mobility flossing or what is called voodoo flossing, mobility flossing, either way, um, you are restricting blood flow, so there's a time limit on in these therapies. Uh, you don't want to do any damage to the uh, tissues more than necessary. Um, so I usually try and keep it under about two minutes. We'll probably do a minute and a half, two with him. Uh, but essentially, the whole concept behind this is, this is kind of like a shotgun effect in terms of myofascial release. So we'll be attacking all the muscles around a single joint and doing some aggressive therapies. It's very effective if you're trying to look for a quick fix um, for some tightness issues. Uh, but the problem is it's very nonspecific. Now for him, he's got tightness in his whole hip flexors and everything in general. So for him, this is money. Uh, like you said, I come here often, more often than most because of all the severe scarring and um, atrophy and uh, just some issues that I have that I've been battling. And as I, I've told people that I haven't, I wouldn't be able to be squatting. You know, I could sit there and train like I was training and I was only doing box squats, but I couldn't train full squats until recently and I it's no joke it's due to the fact of all the grass and all the work that we've been doing in here and um, and so I basically had to stay up on it because like you said it scarring comes back very quickly and I know that for a fact because after all my surgeries I will go have uh, like therapy and it was aggressive but even then it came back very quickly so I had to stay on top of it to continue my training because if I was to I've missed four days or something like that in here before and I immediately get tight so as soon as I get back from out of town I have to come in here and start getting myself um, readjusted and fixed again to get my mobility to be going very easy to get in here so um, they are busy all the time so which is a good thing that tells you how good his business is you guys have been open how long now About a year a year and I mean it's always packed in here um, all the time so um, if you want like I said if you are in the area you want to check it out come here it's good 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 place and I uh, highly recommend it so now we gotta drive all the way to Arizona because we got some serious fucking training tonight, which is better than this shit. <laughs>
motherfuckers. <laughs> You guys are gonna get to see the training that I'm putting myself through and everything, that, everywhere I get to go and train and the people that I get to train with that are all helping me meet the goal of basically being the first amputee to step on a national stage. So come October, I'm gonna hit that fucking total. And then come next year, I'll see you in fucking Vegas. And I'm coming for all you two-legged motherfuckers out there. So don't fucking let me outwork you, cause I will. It's cause I'm fucking hungry, that's why. I told you I wasn't coming here to fuck around. <laughs> so what just happened there? Oh, well, I drove in from California. Eight hours, I believe. It's traffic. And fucking told eight man I wanted to fucking squat tonight. I didn't care what time I got in. We were gonna fucking squat. And we started squatting at like 11.45 midnight. And it must be the Arizona heat. You PR'd like three I, times I PR'd three time. times in a row tonight, so. I hit a 470, I hit a 450, 4, 440, 440 squat, then a 465, and then a 475. Yeah. The 500 is coming, goddamn, in 10 weeks, easy. Road to full power, stay tuned. This is what you guys are gonna be getting every time we pop one of these videos up, man. Stay tuned, guys. That's that one leg monster.